Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'll be explaining the new update on the Recon DB package that I've made. So um, this is the newest version, 1.2.3, and I'll be releasing a newer version later on. So you'll download the 1.2.31, okay? So for now, in for this tutorial, I'm just going to demonstrate the 1.2.3 version. Okay, so to install this, you can simply just run npm i recon lx in your terminal. So um, I already run the command. So simply just do npm i recon lx to run. And to check the version, just go to package.json and then you can just check it over here. So mine is 1.2.3. But later on in the video, after you finish watching this video, um, the version should be 1.2.31 and then you should download that version. All right. So once that's done, okay, I just go to your main directory. So just ignore source, okay, just ignore this. Just uh, imagine that it isn't here. So all of these files are actually in the main directory. Just imagine that, okay. Just create a file called recondb.js. Just create one file called recondb.js. So once you go in here, we're just going to destructure the recondb from recondx. So cons, this one equals require recondx. And then we're going to require client from index. So index is in the same directory. So we can just do dot slash. So in index, make sure you have exported the client. So as you can see, your const client equal new client over here. And then in here, I actually did module exports client. Okay. Um, that's all right. And then next, we can just do const db equals new recon db, which is uh, we're invoking the new for our constructor over here. And then the, for the first argument, you're going to pass in client. And then you're going to put an object. You're going to put in URI and then you're going to put your mongoose connection string. So if you don't know how to get your mongoose connection string, I'll link a video down in the description. So it's basically a MongoDB connection string or mongoose connection string, whatever you want to call it. Mongo compass connection string. Um, yeah, just put it in here and then just do module.exports equals db. So to use this file over here, um, we will just need to require this file okay so to use this database so in to interact with the database we just need to require this file so as you can see here let me just go into um recon db i've created a few commands over here so here are all the functions so we can delete data we can check if there is data so if it's true or false we can get data so we can get um so basically recon db acts like a map um so let me just open notepad actually you can use paint Okay, um, so recon db actually acts like a map. So there is a key, there is a key, and there's a value. So every time when you call for the key, you, you call for the key, you're going to get the value. So if you get get, you're going to pass in the key, which is arc zero, uh, and then we'll get the blue color, the, the, the value. Okay, and then in set, we're going to set the key and the value, the key and the value. So let me just uh, write key, and then in here, I'm just going to write value. Okay, and then um yeah, and then collection uh because I already changed a little bit of this um thing, we're not gonna for okay. Let me just explain this. Every time when we use the um set function, we're actually not gonna. Okay, I messed that up so hard. Okay, so basically every time when you ch use the has the get okay, we're not gonna um fetch the data from MongoDB. Because I already catch the data inside a collection inside um the function, I mean the class, okay. So you can get the collection that is cached. You can use the collection method by using a wait db the collection and then uh actually you don't need this. I don't know why I did this. Okay, you just do return console log and then this is the collection. So let me just demonstrate this. So uh a few videos ago I have used recon db, so I have currently have some data, so I can show you guys how to delete it. Okay, so if I run Y collection, so this is just a tutorial on how to use this. So this, uh, you don't need to follow this. You can just watch it. Okay, okay. I have four um values over here. So if I delete, if I want to delete this key, okay. So as I said, there is a key that's a value. So this is the key and this is the value. So if I want to delete this, so let me just copy this and I just do Y delete. Uh, y delete, and I pass it in here. And then we delete it, okay. And then if I want Y collection, it'll send a new collection without the ping. So as you can see, your ping is actually deleted. So if I restart the bot, as you can guess, it won't give the same data. It's gonna give the second data because it is actually uh, 
I'm just gonna prove it that it's actually working. So there should be only three data. As you can see here, there's only three data. So for now, I'm just gonna delete all of these data and create new data. So let me just delete all of these so by doing y delete this, and then we're gonna delete this as well. Okay, and then we're gonna delete auto mean. Y delete auto mean. Okay, so this is all from the previous videos. So if I run write collection, before that, um, this is actually the key. Um, I don't know why I say that again, but okay, let me just show you the collection. There should be no more items over here. Okay, so as you can see, your collection there is zero items. The size is zero. So if I do why um, what is it set? If I want to set a recon to YouTuber, okay, so recon is gonna be the key, and then the YouTube is gonna be a the value. So if I want write collection, y collection. Okay, if I go to the terminal, as you can see here, uh there is one one data which is recon, the key is recon and then the value is YouTube. So for the get function, okay, we can actually get the data. So get the uh value I mean. So if you pass in recon, it's gonna give you YouTube. So let me just do this. Why let me just y get and i'm gonna get recon okay it's gonna uh give youtube okay perfect so let me just check has so has basically it just gives you true or false so if your data if there is data it's gonna give true if there's no data we're gonna make it uh it's gonna be false so let me just do y has recon okay as you can see it's true because there is data saved in here and then if i do y has something random it will say false because there is no data okay and then lastly um yeah that should conclude today's video um for collection you guys know this and then if i want to delete data so if i delete the data so i delete recon and i and i do y collection okay there will be no more data so if i do y has recon so there will be no more data okay there will be no more recon so yeah, that should conclude today's video on the tutorial on how to use ReconDB. It's pretty simple. It's just like the map functions, but um, it's interacting with MongoDB. Um, yeah, that should conclude today's video. Um, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to join the support server. I'll just leave a comment down in the description. What am I even saying? Leave a comment down in the comment box uh, below. Uh, make sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Other than that, have a nice day. See you again in the next video. Bye.